Um, okay. Next question has to do with local advertising. And, um, and David, um, his business is all around really understanding the local market. So um, before I go into a question with him, how many people here have products or services that appeal to a local market? Uh, okay, so a couple of you. Okay, so let's let's talk about that, David. Um, what are the what are the different channels for for local advertising? What are the best ways to really target on the local level? Well, the uh, I, I think it's best to to just take a step back and look how local has evolved. Uh, Several years ago, I established uh, a local search engine that's here in Irvine called local.com, and we thought we would be the sole place that people come to find local information and, and the name brand to support that. Uh, in time, as we predicted, many other destinations have lined up to provide local information. Uh, so the, the likes of Yahoo and, of course, Google. Uh, we've seen quite an evolution with the way that they handle local information, what they take, or uh, where they get their information sources from, uh, and, uh, and and reflecting how that uh, plays into their search engine optimization uh, techniques that people employ. Uh, this last year, we've seen Google Instant, which uh, auto-completes a person's query before they even really fin finish their thought, and it's really changed the way that we uh, that you realize it's it's assimilated some of the long tail of search. So whereas People used to have very extraneous search terms with a lot of outliers. While that still exists, we saw about a, about 18% reduction in long tail and about a similar amount of, of head terms, the most popular terms. Uh, essentially, the people who didn't know how to search too well have assimilated to the better search terms. So uh, then we also saw a consolidation to what uh, uh, a new type of local search result in Google, which took kind of their old maps placement, a seven pack of, of several just business listings, and combining that with an organic result. We refer to this as a hybrid result. And then they've done things like Google Tags and Google uh, uh, Places where they have uh, uh, Google Boost where you can advertise just a local pin on that map. So, uh, you know, they've got a couple of great offerings to be able to go out and say, hey, I, I want to put a pin on the map. Even though I'm not in the top, I can advertise to get there, or I can put a little yellow tag on my business so that when I show up, people think a little bit more or, or have a reason to go after me because I have photos or a special offer to promote. So they've, they've gotten pretty well established with this, but in comes another incumbent. Uh, through some social networks. Twitter's got something a little bit interesting for places. Foursquare allows for, pe for businesses to have users check in and, and gain an attraction and give some, some uh, sort of rewards to people who commonly go to their business. And then Facebook uh, has done the same thing. And what Google did over its course of several years, Facebook has almost done in two years. So the number of business registrations that Google has had in the United States is pretty much equal to what Facebook has already established. And it's, so it's a huge, powerful network that they've done there. But still, we do know that the more of the business value is still in search. It's completely what we focus on. And uh, uh, to dovetail a little bit of how that would come into play, the non sponsored advertising element, it's really getting citations and being in several de several different destinations, several different websites, uh, such as Super Pages, uh, Merchant Circle, Yelp, Judy's Book, several different websites, and publishing unique information to all those different properties is effectively the business that we're in. So uh, in, in summary, the search is you know still a strong component, but social is something to be you know much more cognizant of. Um, as has always been referred to.